Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan here in Virginia. I thought I'd shoot out a little video on my latest uh, Cub upgrade project. It's my little Sport Cub S2. And what I've done to it, I don't know if I'll turn it over in a second, but I've got tired of those rubbery, floppy wing struts. So there's several good videos on uh, YouTube you can check out, which I did. I've taken uh, the ideas from the guys there. And I'm just going to give you my own take on it. Uh, you can certainly watch theirs too. They've got a lot of great ideas. But this is how I did it. I got some uh, <clears throat> what they call aluminum streamline tubing from K&S Metal Manufacturers, which is in Chicago. And uh, this is a 3 8 inch tubing. Here's, here's a piece of it Here's that you have left over once you complete the project. You have two little pieces like this. It comes 36 inches long. I got mine from uh, Radical RC in Dayton, Ohio, which are great people to do business with. The only problem is when you're on long stock like this, you have to get to get one long tube of aluminum. You can't just buy one. <laughs> uh, you have to buy six pieces of long stock. So I bought five pieces of carbon rod. I got. Uh, I know they're over there by my old slow stick. You can, maybe you can see that pile of uh, carbon rods over there. I got plenty of carbon rods, which I'll use for reinforcing various airplanes later, reinforcing the foam. So anyway, this is from uh, K&S Metalworks, and it's uh, K&S part number 1102. In case you want to use it. So what I did <coughs> with the Cub, you get that piece of metal. It's exactly 36 inches long. And you cut it in half, and then you start to custom fit it to each side of your airplane. So, <clears throat> what I had done earlier, on the uh, I took off the old rubbery things, those old white thin white things, and I reinforced this area as you can see. This is three sixteenths inch aircraft quality plywood. It's five inches long and it's one inch wide. And right here in the center, underneath this, I made it double thickness so that this screw would have plenty of uh, wood to bite into when it's screwed down in. So naturally when I put this on here, I had to hollow out a little pocket with a craft knife, cut out a little square in the foam, and then I used good old Gorilla Glue. This stuff is fantastic. It's a little uh, quirky to work with, but you have to wet both surfaces and use it sparingly. You put it on there. And just smear it around a little bit and don't put much they tell you right on the box it expands about three times and sure enough it will expand and it will come out around the side here and you can keep wiping it with a rag and but it'll keep coming pretty soon it'll start to dry and your rag will stick and start tearing the foam so just let it dry and then you can take your craft knife and cut it cut it away later and then I also took some um, some good filler. I, I shaved these down. As you can see, I put a one inch radius on both ends. So these, I used the same old mounting holes. So I put the glue underneath and screwed this, <clears throat> this uh, wooden brace, screwed it right down the same old holes that were left in those white um, reinforcements in the wing. So it's both glued and screwed. So it should stay for, for uh, <laughs> as good as you can get. So when I got the aluminum tubing, you can sort of measure and you have to just squeeze it down <clears throat> with a pair of pliers or, or you can squeeze it in a vise. It's very easy to work with. In fact, you don't even need a hacksaw. I just use a pair of straight tin snips to cut it. You can just cut it very easily. Figure out where your holes go. These are the stock screws that came with the aircraft. Same thing. Just thread them through there. Get your angle. Bend it down. Come down here. <clears throat> Figure out how long you need this, and then uh, I don't think you can see it right in here, but on this strut here, underneath, I drilled two holes about an eighth of an inch apart. And then I took a fine file and filed an oblong so that this can be adjusted in and out. And this particular hole, <coughs> I went to uh, larger screws. I went to a number four by one half inch pan head screw to go in here but that's the only screws that are different these screws are stock screws I did put a washer on them so <clears throat> before I put them on I shined them up with some fine steel wool 
and then I used a little uh, Lum uh, Flitz F L I T Z metal polish for polishing silver and different brass metals. But you can see they look they look really nice. I'm really pleased about the way they come out. I haven't flown them, of course. I just finished the project today, but there's no reason why they they won't work. And they certainly make the plane they feel solid as heck. I mean, it triangulates the wing as you can see if I try to hold it in the light looks pretty good and you can adjust the wing I tried to get it level <laughs> this wings pretty beat up I was just doing it because it's starting to droop on the ends the carbon fiber rod only comes out to about here and the rest of this is just but foam and I banged it around so anyway I'm working on my second cub <laughs> one part at a time as you know I replaced the fuselage not long ago and uh, you wouldn't know it but it because I've already broken the nose off it and glued it back on somehow these things don't seem to fly well till I bang the nose off them and then glue it back on I'm just only kidding but anyway that's my latest project with the cub she's been flying great the flaps work good I'm learning to fly with them fly without them and uh, you can come in pretty fast throw those flaps on she'll settle right down I think I did a little video not long ago on these tires these are timber tires, these big fat tires. They work great too. So if you want to try the uh, wing strut modification, I think of nothing else. It really looks good. I guess you could paint them white, but I didn't bother. I thought I'd leave them aluminum colored. Make it sort of give it that industrial aircraft kind of look. So anyway, hope you find this uh, helpful. Until next time, fly safe.